Golin. Father? What you up to? I'm just uh, sitting here now. Oh, aye, aye. It was a nice sermon of Thomas's today, Father. Almost made me go crying them more instead. <laughs> you crying? Now and then I go crying over different things. You say you had a few now, Father. Don't you be starting on me now, on top of everybody else. Not today of all days. I wasn't starting on you now. I only tease you sometimes. And that's only to camouflage the mad passion I have deep within me for you. <laughs> be taking a joke now, Father. God! I've written a letter for my brother here, Gerlin. Would you give it to him next time you see him? Won't you be seeing him soon enough yourself? I won't be. I'm leaving tonight. Leaving for where? Anywhere but here. But why, Father? Oh, lots of different reasons. But the three suicides amongst my congregation didn't help. But none of that was your fault, Father. <laughs> no. Nobody no. ever listens to my advice, ever. I listen to you. That's a great comfort. And you don't listen to me either. How many times have I told you to stop selling your dad's alcohol? It's just till I save up a few bob. To save up for what? To go to clubs and let drunk schoolboys grab you? Not at all! I do save it up to buy a few nice things. To go buy I mean, shit, hey? Well, I do wish I had as tough problems in my life as you do in yours, Gerling. Anybody else went talking to me that sarcastic, I'd fucking punch them in the eye for them. Only if I punched you in the eye, you'd probably go off crying like a fucking girl. I never asked you to come sitting beside me. I didn't know there was a fucking log in sitting beside you, although I wish there was a fucking one now. I'm sorry, Gerling, for being sarcastic to you. I am. It's okay. It's just that I'm feeling a bit... I don't know... Blue? Blue and lonesome? It's tonight you're leaving? It's tonight, I... But that's awful quick. No one will have a chance to say goodbye to you now, Father. Goodbye, I... And good riddance to the back of me. This is where he went in, you know, poor Thomas. Do you know, Father, three other fellows have walked in here. My mom was telling me. Drowned themselves. Aye. This is where they come. You have a million thoughts going on at the back of the big blue eyes of yours. I never did know that you noticed my big blue eyes. Aren't they gorgeous now? You'll grow up to be a mighty fine woman one day, Goni. God bless. You'll remember to be giving that letter to my brother now, Goni. 